Before the ad break, we heard a powerful and inspiring story from Mpumimani and Dexter Mabaso. Let's now hear more from Brian Tipe, who is also known as La Vesta, who is an artist based in Cajiso in the West Rand. Let's hear his story. Hi, my name is La Vesta Moafrika. My full name is Brian Tipe. Uh, I'm from Cajiso in Mukhale City. I'm a visual artist, uh, conceptualist, uh, graphic designer, fashion designer. Yeah, I do a lot in the arts. I uh, believe that uh, the arts are in my blood. I grew up in Cajiso. Uh, and I grew up as, as a, you know, an inquisitive young boy who wants to know what's happening there and there. But uh, I was always involved in things, you know, being a, a model out with beauty pageants and doing some crafts. And uh, what is nice is that uh, my community was always supporting me and, you know, giving me courage to do what I love most. That's why I'm still here and doing, you know, nice things in my hood. My family, it's a, it's, a family it's a creative family, you know. I grew up, uh, my uncle's, my mother's uncle. Was, a, was an art, visual artist. So my aunt, she, she's a florist, and my other aunt, she, she, she makes clothes and curtains. So uh, I grew up in that environment whereby I was influenced by the people that I live with every day, you know. The name of my business is House of Dawn. Uh, House of Dawn, it's a, it's a company that uh, specializes in all angles of, of, of craft and, 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 and events. Uh, we do mostly branding for companies and we do t-shirt printing. We do also uh, social events like your, your markets and uh, promoting other artists that are, that are coming. So that's what we specialize with mostly in our company. House of Dawn, it, has, it, it does have a special because of the time I was opening my company, I struggled to get the name. And you know, a friend just said to me, you must have, uh, in Setswana we say, which is the house of the great, uh, 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 the nature, the greatness of the nature. Yeah, so we, we wake up early, that's why we call it the house of God. My craft is influenced by the colors of our flag. You know, that's why my clothing brand is called Mewala because of, uh, we do mostly of paint splashing and you know playing around with colors. So uh, I'm influenced by the daily lifestyle. You see the pop culture now, it's growing in South Africa and it's being influenced by our own heritage colors. And it's getting there day by day. So South African people are really relating within the, 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 the Mibala concept and the, the whole style that I'm becoming with. Uh, the impact that my business does actually, it's the, me and the, and the clients being involved in what we're doing for them because mostly I, I like my clients to be part of their own product when I'm producing something for them. So it becomes, uh, it, it, it adds the value within a client's product when he getting my service. Yeah, so that's, that's what we do and we're really proud of that. My business has done a lot in my life, you know. Uh, I managed to reach some of the things that I've always been struggling and meet people, you know. The most important is to meet people because once you start meeting people, the business starts to, to grow and expand. Because we are, my, my business, it's a loving uh, type of business, sharing and connecting people in one space. The normal five things that we always do, social media, business cards, letter, whatever, whatever, whatever. But what I personally do, I, I, I support other products. I support other events. That's how big it goes with, with, with me uh, supporting, I mean, uh, marketing my business. Because I think the word of mouth is one of the best tools in, in business. Because you meet people one-on-one -on -one and you explain what you service, it's always best. You know, sometimes, as, you know, as creatives, we, we lose direction, we do it because of we love it mostly, but at the end of the day, somebody must survive. And you know, the challenges that you face in life, they make you, you know, have something to, to survive. Because 
at the end of the day, I had to put the bread in the table. So. Uh, my customers will be uh, a young designer who's coming up with their own, cl own clothing brand and they want to come up with the branding. Those are my customers. Uh, my customers are, are big companies that wants to boom out our the, the new age. So those are companies that I, I service, I put my service on to take their product and take it to the people. See, because we specialize in branding. So the most important thing is to take the naked product and brand. I think it's always better to, to, to have those, uh, you know, comments, people talking about your thing. That means you exist and they drive you to, to be somebody. The best thing is that uh, I think we, we as a painters and we always we create a legacy or we create a history every day once we put colors in front of the eyes of the people. And the most beautiful thing was getting a, a, an opportunity to paint the reservoirs of, of, of Cajiso. And they've been there for a couple of years now, more than seven years, yeah. And being here also again, uh, the Cajiso Memorial, to do, I mean, the most, you know, people that were heroes and heroines of the restaurant. We've got a company called uh, uh, GCCI, which is uh, it's Houghton Center for the Creative Industry. Uh, the company is for five months old, and this is one of our first projects. What we did, we collaborated with uh, with the artists from Cajiso and uh, and the Houghton uh, uh, Department of Sport and Art and Culture and Mohale City, uh, so that we celebrate the heroes and the heroines of, of, of Mukhale City. As you see the paintings and the pictures that are in my, in my background are the, are, the, are the faces of those people that we celebrate. We are responsible as artists because I don't want to say we are not supported, but we have to make people understand our craft so that they, we can get support. That's the most important thing. But uh, either or other way, we are not supported. Arts never been supported as much in South Africa. It's my community that makes me grow because of the courage that I always get and, uh, and, and how we as South African, we adjust into, uh, into new things, into the, 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 the craft, how we always want to uh, support uh, the arts, you know, that makes me grow it wake up and grow every day but either way my family has always been supporting me and my friends then yeah they give me courage and wake up make me wake up and I, sometimes i feel like yeah maybe i'm getting too much maybe i'm crazy too much about it you know but uh it makes me exciting it challenges me every day and yeah i enjoy i, I enjoy and i love what i do The challenges that I've experienced in my business was uh, the management part of the business. Uh, I was too comfortable at some point in my business whereby, you know, uh, the important things, you forget about them because you, especially in the arts, you, you might think that you're doing it, you're doing it right. But uh, I, was, I was in the space whereby I, I, I have to lose some of the things that I have in my life and uh, sit back and think about what I have to do right. But I was fortunate enough to, to meet a friend, uh, brother, you know, to, who came back in my life after a couple of years and who mentored me and, you know, just give me a guidance, which is important. I think every artist needs that, to be mentored by somebody, because we forget about things that are very important and we enjoy the craft. Uh, we celebrate too much our craft, you know, but, uh, yeah, those, those were like, yeah, my, my challenges, you know, in terms of the management of the business. But yeah, I learned, I learned, I learned my lesson and yeah, going somewhere now. You know, being part of this project, you know, it's, it's one of the successes. To see uh, artists being united, like I always wanted, you know, like, that's why I'm saying my company is about socialism, socialism and, you know, networking and uniting people together, you know. And yeah, I feel like if, 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 if artists can be united, you know, everything will be possible. Yeah. 
2013 was 12 2012 yeah i was in i was at uh, the africa day concert and i met Luandile, the the lead singer of uju and he liked my top and he performed with my top on that concert and there's live on tv you know yeah this is one of the best moments i've you know i've ever experienced but yeah uh, this was, you know, and there's many, man, like, you know, yeah, there's, there's many moments, you know. Like, I work with a lot of artists, you know, that always want to achieve some of the things. And the more they achieve, it becomes my, my moment, you know, like, to see somebody that I work with achieve something, you know, yeah. So, yeah, the future plans is to, is to see and how can having uh, the hubs for the arts, you know, uh, because of we we suffering with space and you know uh, uh, facilities of 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 working, you know. That's why we we experiencing so many issues of drugs and pregnancies and you know alcohol abuse and stuff. Because if we don't have space, but if artists can have more space in my company, if we can see that being possible. You know, see the Houghton or South African artist having their own space, then yeah, I'll be blessed. You know, yeah, that's our plan, and we're gonna do it. Yeah, we wanna paint the flags of South Africa international. That's why we put in Mibala all over. You know, yeah, we're painting South Africa everywhere. I think the only way for me to keep up is to take the young, the young ones, and you know, get them involved in my project because when time goes, the age. It's coming, you know. So take the young ones, show them how you do it, and they will keep it up. So it's to teach the young ones, then they will, they will, they will keep it flowing. Man. What an amazing artist and entrepreneur. While we wish La Vesta all the best in his incredible work that he does for his community in Kajiso. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. Do tune in again next time for more stories from our entrepreneurs. From our Enterprise Zone team, thanks for tuning in. Until next week, goodbye.